we'll be working with the Keyboard Shortcuts Demo Start workbook. On the example data worksheet, we have a small table. Currently, cell A1 is selected. I'll press Ctrl Shift right arrow. The range A1 to D1, so the header of the table, has been selected. It's important that cell A1 is not a blank cell, it does have some content. When you select a non-blank cell and press Ctrl Shift right arrow, then all the contiguous or adjacent non-blank cells are selected from left to right. Notice that cell E1 is not part of the selection because it's a blank cell. I'll select cell D1 and show you that the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift left arrow works in the same way but the cells are selected from right to left. The result is the same as before, the range of A1 to D1 has been selected. I'll select cell A1 again. The Ctrl Shift down arrow and Ctrl Shift up arrow shortcuts work in a similar way, but we select cells vertically with them and not horizontally. So not from left to right and right to left, but from top to bottom or bottom to top. I'll press Ctrl Shift down arrow and now the range of A1 to A8 has been selected. I'll select cell D8, press Ctrl Shift up arrow and now the range of D1 to D8 has been selected. But this time we went from the bottom, so from D8 to the top until cell D1. If I want to select the whole table, then I will select cell A1 and press Ctrl Shift right arrow, so now the header is selected, and now I'll press Ctrl Shift down arrow, and now the whole table is selected. Actually, there is an easier way to do this. If you have a table or a contiguous range of non-blank cells, you can select any cell inside that range and press Ctrl A to select the whole range of cells. So for example, I will select cell B4, press Ctrl A, and now the whole table is selected. If I want to add filters to this table, then I can select any cell in the header, for example cell B1, and press Ctrl Shift L. Now we could filter our table. If I don't want to filter our table anymore, so if I want to get rid of the filters, then I can press Ctrl Shift L again. If you want to copy a cell, for example, if you want to copy cell D4, then you can press Ctrl C, which puts that cell on the clipboard, and then you can press Ctrl V to paste the cell somewhere else, or at least the contents of the cell. Cell D4 is still on the clipboard, we see this based on this dynamic moving border, but if I press escape, then it will not be on the clipboard anymore. I'll press Ctrl X to cut a cell, so I will cut cell D7. I will select cell F7 and press Ctrl V. After pressing Ctrl V, the contents of the cell, so the contents of cell D7, were pasted into cell F7, but the contents of cell D7, which was, let's say, our original cell, were removed. And the formatting of the cell, so the borders, were also removed. Let's say that this last operation was a mistake. No worries, I can press Ctrl Z to undo my last change. If you made a mistake, you can always press Ctrl Z to undo your last change. But if it turns out that it wasn't actually a mistake at all, I can still press Ctrl Y to redo the last change. If I want to find or replace something in my workbook, I can press Ctrl F and the Find and Replace dialog appears. Another useful command is the Go To command, which we can execute by pressing Ctrl G. I can go to or select a cell or a range of cells, for example, I'll type E10 here. To select cell E10. Let's select the Array Formula worksheet. I won't talk about them in detail in this video. I just want to remind you how you can make an Array Formula in Excel with the Ctrl Shift Enter keyboard shortcut. It's more like a necessity than a shortcut in case of Array Formulas, but anyways, I'll select cells D2 to D4. 
and I'll type a simple array formula into the formula bar. It will be equals a2 to a4 plus b2 to b4. When I'm finished, I'll press Ctrl Shift Enter to force Excel to evaluate this formula as an array formula. When I'm finished working, I can always press Ctrl S to save my work.